Sales have increased in each of the past two years and look for more of the same in 2012. It's going to be a better sales year out there. This economy is finally starting to move, if, if just modestly, in terms of growth. And people are getting more confident, and that's really important for a big ticket item like a new car. One reason Taylor sees better sales this year is that many people need to replace their aging vehicles. They're at a record level of age for cars of 11 years and 10.7 for the overall light vehicle average. Those are really old vehicles. People are concerned about uh, replacing them uh, before they get a major repair. So that's going to help sales. We also think that affordable credit is going to help sales. And lastly, we think as inventory rebuilds, we will start to see more aggressive incentives from the manufacturers this year. The tsunami that hit Japan and the floods in Thailand limited production and sales of many of the Asian imports, and that could make for a hyper-competitive market in 2012. You see Toyota, especially, and Honda trying to get back some market share? We think the uh, uh, Toyota manufacturing particularly will want to get back market share. Uh, Subaru will be trying to reclaim uh, sales momentum as well. They were having a great year before uh, the production difficulties got in the way. We also expect to see Honda make some moves. They have been reluctant in the past to use incentives to get there, but we'll see what the competition demands. Uh, we also will see, I believe, the Detroit 3 try to hang on to the share they've gained over uh, the last year during 2011. In terms of market segments, where do you think the growth's coming? Well, if gas prices remain at a reasonable level, then they come across the board. Uh, last year growth was in small cars, but also in SUVs. Uh, we think many people are substituting SUVs for the full-size cars that have gone out of production. We also think it'll be a great year for crossover utility vehicles, and as you look across the auto shows uh, in the nation, there were a lot of crossovers and new sedans in the mix and a big year for new introductions. New car introductions generally boost sales, but Taylor sees trucks keeping their sales edge. Trucks outsold cars last year. We think trucks will barely outsell cars this year, even with some great new introductions and some strong sales in the car area. And pickups in the vans will sell more strongly because the business demand is coming back. Taylor also sees rising demand for luxury vehicles fueled by success on Wall Street. Is the stock market is generally recovering and that's helped uh, luxury car sales. They were up 14% a year last year and we expect another good year for luxury car sales. Okay. You might need that. Okay. Overall, the industry continues its steady rebound from the financial crisis and recession in spite of a slow-growing economy. John Sparopoulos, NADA-TV.